All right, Coach Sutton, tell us a little bit about uh, your upcoming season. Well, we're really excited. I think we've managed to get some returnees with a nice mix of newcomers. We've got some freshmen as well as some transfers. I think they're going to really help us. So we're really looking forward uh, to the upcoming season. There's some big challenges ahead of us, but uh, that's part of the game as well. Okay. Uh, what do you think about the conference as a whole this year? Well, I think our league has gotten stronger each year. Uh, Murray did a wonderful job last year representing the OBC by you know, getting to the NCAA tournament and playing well. And But the biggest difference I see in the league from when I first started uh, several years ago is the depth of the league. Uh, it used to be a little top-heavy, and now it's strong throughout, and you have to play every single night. And Because uh, if you're not ready to play, somebody will clip you, whether you're in first place or you're in tenth place. So, you, know, you know, you can get beat if you don't play well. What do you think about the new tournament format and, and making Municipal the home of the OEC tournament for the next uh, several well, years? Well, you know, I think that uh, we should give kudos to the to the board, the presidents, and the ADs, and the OEC because it makes it a true tournament. I think it's very important in basketball. In, uh, in Division One basketball, you have an NCAA tournament, and I think this helps prepare us for that. Uh, we are a conference that's going to get one bid into the NCAA tournament, and that's a reality. Uh, hopefully in the future we can change that, but you have to take advantage of what you have now. And this format allows us, I think, to put the, the best team in as well as it gives our fans an opportunity to plan. And it makes it a true tournament atmosphere and a venue. And I'm really excited about the chance to come to the Municipal Auditorium and to be here in Nashville. I think it will be a great experience for the, for the players and the fans. Uh, you have two transfers who should make big impacts this year, including uh, Zach Swansea from Georgia. Tell us what type of impact you expect them to make this season. Well, Zach's a very good player. He's, he's the only player on our roster that's played in the NCAA tournament when he was at Georgia. Was well, a good player there. We recruited him out of high school, so we expect great things from him. Uh, we have Matt Marseille, a transfer from Centenary, and then we have a young man named Liam McMorrow, who's a seven-footer that's gotten a lot of attention, but he's very inexperienced. And he's done some good things so far, but he's still very limited. He's played a grand total of 25 basketball games in his entire life. That's counting youth league, junior high, high school, because he never played till he was in college. So those three transfers, I think, have an opportunity to help us, and I expect them to, particularly Swansea, um, because we recruited him out of high school and know a lot about him. And he was with us last year as a practice player in, his, in the year that you're required to sit out. And uh, so I think those guys have a chance to make an impact with our returnees, and we're counting on that. What do, you, uh, what do you like most about this team this year? I really like our kids. You know, they're, they're wonderful young men. They've, they've had great attitude. They've worked extremely hard. In August, when we were practicing for the, uh, the, the trip with uh, Go Ministries to the Dominican Republic, um, they did a good job of working hard. And then down there, they represented themselves and Tennessee Tech very well. I was very impressed with how they handled themselves. And that gave us a chance to see those seven new guys that are new to playing uh, on the court, which is really important for us, and we have a little bit better feel for who can do what, and uh, and now you just get through the preseason and get ready for the first set of games. What do you see is is the biggest challenge for this team? Well, our team, you know, we wanted to prove in two areas: defensively and rebounding. And hopefully, the length and the size that we added will help us with that. We've got to be better defensively and do a better job on the glass. What one of our? I didn't think it's one of our better rebounding teams. We've always been pretty good on offense. But, uh, you know, we need to pick up in those two areas to be really successful, uh, you know, I think down the road. And, and by the end of the year, I think we've got a chance to be pretty good. Okay. Tell us a little bit about your non-conference schedule and, and some of the games you're looking forward to there. Well, you know, we historically play a very, very difficult, probably the toughest in the league. And that won't change. And, that, you know, that's probably a scheduling philosophy of an older coach versus someone that's very young. Um, you know, we play uh, two or three teams that are picked to win their league. Uh, Lipscomb, we've got a game with Lipscomb. East Tennessee State's picked to finish right behind them. Appalachian State was very good in the Southern Conference Finals last year, won their side of the league. They'll be uh, coming to our place. We've got a, a good high point team, played one of the league's newcomers in uh, SIU, Edwardsville. That, you know, we started home and home with them to get acclimated to, to traveling to their place. And uh, then you throw in a bracket buster game, which I think will be a, usually a good opponent. We played some really good teams in the Bracket Buster so far, NCAA tournament teams uh, in two of our Bracket Buster games. So that'll be a challenge. And then we've got a couple of easy non-conference money uh, guarantee games. We you know, travel to an NC State team that's picked to be pretty good in the ACC with, you know, with Coach Lowe and his guys. With, uh, you know, so that'll be a challenge. And then the other non-conference games, just a simple little trip to Lansing to play the Spartans, who may be number one. Uh, by the time we get there and at the end of November, but that's okay. We, you know, we played Kansas when they were number one last year. So, But I think the young people 
enjoy a challenge and they enjoy playing in venues where basketball is a big deal, whether it's in the ACC or a place like Michigan State. So I think that's important, and it's also important financially to assist our athletic department. That's just part of the process at uh, you know at the mid-major level. Thank you, Coach. I appreciate Thank you. it.